is filled with silence We're alone and frightened All we do is lie They throw away our labor Like a piece of paper Gone and won't be found And ooh Cause you were not, you were not, you were not wrong Today we are here at the Fallen Peace Officers Trail. And most of you probably don't even know about this trail and it's not on your radar to go and run. But we are here on Memorial Day, remembering not only our veterans that, and our fallen soldiers, but our fallen police officers. As a nonprofit that supports law enforcement members, we find this a great way for us to tribute to them and all they do and all they sacrifice for us in our communities. The Fallen Peace Officers Trail is a 14 mile loop that is on the north side of Moab and west of the Arches National Park. The Fallen Peace Officers Trail opened in April of 2013. Cliff Kuntz with Ride and Respect a nonprofit organization that helps open multi-use trails and educates on ethical land use was one of the members that helped to actually open this trail. He heard about a Utah state ranger that had been shot nine times back in 2010. That officer was Brody Young and thankfully he recovered. Kuntz went to Young and asked if he could name the trail after him but Officer Young replied to him that there are many officers that don't actually recover and he suggested the name the fallen peace officers trail and the name of the trail was then created there is a fallen peace officers trail ride that occurs on an annual basis the 14 miles of this trail is dedicated to a fallen officer in utah each mile to a officer the donations that are taken for this and the funds that are raised for this go to scholarships to help officers that have fallen or been injured in the line of duty in Utah. So now that you know the history of the trail and why we're here, it's not a super hard trail. There's some narrow ed ledges and it's a little rocky in parts, but no major obstacles. It takes on average two to three hours to complete. The trail overlooks the valley of Seven Mile Rim in the Buttes. It also runs along the Arches National Park, and you can actually see the Tower Arch while you're on the trail from a distance. Why not all of the 14 officers that were honored during this year's annual event, there was one officer that still had up their memorial, and we were lucky enough to take a moment and look at that while we were there. And remember, all of the officers, not only in Utah, in Colorado, and nationwide, that make sacrifices for all of us.
us being out on this trail day is that we were lucky enough to have an officer and soldier amongst us and we want to just say a special thank you to Donnie who was out there with us today. Someone's 